my channel this is your girl faithfully d in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make the perfect corn muffin the african way before i introduce you to my ingredients please like comment and subscribe to my channel and share my videos if you care now let's go so i have my butter right here i melted my butter already in the microwave that way it's easy and everything to mix i also have my nutmeg you need nutmeg when you're baking cornbread because if you don't, your cornbread is just going to be fresh with all that eggs. You're going to taste the eggs and you're going to smell the eggs and I don't like that. So I always make sure I have my nutmeg. I have my three packs of Jeffrey. I'm making three packs of it. I also have my cup of sugar right here. You need sugar. I also have my milk. I'm using whole milk. You can use a raw milk if you want, but I like to use the whole milk. It's better that way. And I know a lot of people are going to think that this is weird, but this is a game changer. You hear? Game changer. When you are making corn muffin and you do not put mayonnaise in it, you are missing out. Ouch. And let me know in the comment section what do you I started doing this years ago, and I love it. I love the way my um my corn muffin would taste afterwards. And I also have my eggs in here. So you're going to put in my butter that i already melted like i told you guys earlier put in my butter and then i'm gonna mix 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 and then i'm gonna pour in my cup of sugar it all depends how many sugar do you you know how sweet you want it to be and stuff like that and then i'm gonna pour in some milk There we go, put in the milk. And then now I'm gonna grab the milk. I'm gonna put in like a spoon or so. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And you, you mix. And you have to mix this really good so the milk can be, um, you can't really see it. In, um, and you start putting in the um, Jeffries. You have to make sure this is mixed really, 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 really good. And then now I'm going to add in my nutmeg. You need to add a lot of this because now you don't put milk, you don't put um, eggs. You want to kill that freshness. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So good. And I feel like it looks perfect now. I can add in my Jeffries. I add the first box. I'm going to mix it up. And then I'm going to add in the second box. Okay. Now we get mixing again. See, it's getting thick already. It is getting thick, and you can always add a little bit more milk into that. There we go. And then you continue mixing. And then I'm going to get box number three, pour it in there, boom, 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 here we go. I hope everybody's doing good, everybody's having a good day. I hope everybody's grateful for seeing another day. Life is not easy, but it gets better by the day, can't complain. So yeah, so this is it right now. It's all mixed up, I don't think I need no more milk. Because it's not, if you look at it, it's not that thick. So I don't think I need any more to add any more milk in it. Please, guys, I'm really, I'm not new to YouTube. But I've been on and off for years. But now I'm back. I promise you guys I'm going to be doing a lot of different videos. Cooking videos. Sharing different recipes with you guys. Traveling. Okay, now I'm going to put my oven on to 400. Should just leave it at 350 or maybe let me see put it at like 370 or so 380 i'll just leave it at 380 and let it just preheat and i'll put the um i'll put the bread in there okay so now that i have my oven on preheat this is how the um the jeffrey looks i tasted it it tastes good it don't need no more sugar the nutmeg is perfect. Everything in there is perfect. And then now I have my pan in here. 
This is what I'm gonna use. Just perfect for three pack, and this is my spray. I normally will use butter to um to um do this, but I just want to use cooking spray instead. It's it's way better. I don't make nothing sticks, anything like that. So I'm gonna be using that. Set this aside. I'm done with that. And then now I'm just gonna pour everything in the pan. Pretty much. There it is. Okay. Ooh, yeah. There it is. There it is, people. There it is. Looking good. Okay. <laughs> it looks good. Okay. I'm going to show you guys the finished product when it's all done and yummy and ready to eat. So this is the finished product of the cornbread that I baked. It looks so juicy. It is brown. You can see the inside. Everything is done. It's cooked inside. It's juicy. It looks good. Try it. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about the recipe if you're going to try it. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you can.